Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon, and today I've got an exceptional 1966 Ford Thunderbird to show you. Now, this particular car uh, is really an excellent example of this very last year of this body style T-Bird. It's finished off in a base coat, clear coat paint, but the paint is the original color. It's called Honeydew Yellow, just a nice pastel yellow and it did come factory with a uh, Landau vinyl top. So let me take you around. I'll explain some of the attributes of it. These are great cars. They're excellent driving cars. They've got a lot of appointments to them. There's a lot to look at. But uh, let's just start with the paint. Uh, again, base coat, clear coat, pretty bright. I don't know if you can see some depth there, but it is very nice and deep. It was painted about two years ago, and they really did a nice job. Uh, they obviously had all the trim and everything off of it. I'm not finding any overspray or anything on it. All the bright work and trim is present on the car. These are turn signals here that you can see from the driver's seat. All the glass is nice. You notice the door gap just about as good as you can get and the panels just line up excellent. Take you in here on the passenger side. It's sometimes hard to tell if something is replaced or if it's original. Uh, the door panels look so nice I, I almost got to believe they've been replaced because they are very very nice. Door jams look good. All the little lights work in there. In the doors and in the back. Take a look at that back seat. This is one of the things I always kind of like about these cars, how it just sweeps around the the uh, seating. It just looks like you're, you know, sitting in a living room or something. Nice black bucket seats. The driver's seat's power. Now this car has power windows also. Um, everything works. The radio works. Uh, the heater works. It does have power steering, it has power front disc brakes, uh, it does not have air conditioning, uh, but uh, otherwise very well appointed. And I'll show you, doors close nice. This was part of that Landau trim. And I've checked the vinyl top on it. This is obviously new too, but they did a very nice job. And I always check it like this. You don't go around the edges and check for any kind of crunching, which would indicate there may be some rust there, but. There isn't any. There isn't any in this car. Back window glass is nice. All of this trim is present and looks nice. The bumpers are nice. No dents or dings anywhere on the car. These have the sequential tail lights too. Nice dual exhaust system. I'll show you in the trunk while we're here. trunk is nice and big and deep. Uh, that is a, uh, you know, poly glass spare, so I don't know if that's original. It could be. It's, it's obviously an old spare. You wouldn't want to use it, but, you know, everything's solid in here. A uh, little trunk light working up here. Everything's all, all the panel, our panels are still in here. The finished work, very nice. Now, I might point you to the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got not only pictures of the car, but I've also got pictures of the undercarriage. Now, the undercarriage is not detailed under there, but it's original, and it's very clean. It's dry, uh, there's no rust under there, and I think I mentioned in the ad, in the text ad, you can still see some of the red oxide primer that was originally used from the factory under there. So, uh, very nice, nice undercarriage. Trunk closes easy, gaps again, very nice. It's kind of important. This T-Bird still has its nice fender skirts. Take you in on the uh, driver's side here. Take a look at the uh, dash. 
you know you had these four pods for your gauges and they do all work and then the speedometer on these is what I kind of call a thermometer style so as you speed up there will be a red thermometer uh, reading going up to you know depending on how fast you're going really cool another feature that uh, these t-birds had they had a what's called a tilt away wheel so uh, when you get in and out of the car this steering wheel will move over to the right and just give you a little extra room but as you can see the bright work and the trim I mean there's just a lot to see and a lot to look at on these cars I really like them has an overhead console uh, which as you can see up in here I'll try to point it out to you if you can see it or not but it just tells you that the seat belt you know you need to fasten your seat belts and the doors ajar and uh, the fuel light if your fuels getting low <laughs> kind of need to have that you know and have everything working that's really cool but uh, I did run the data plate on the car it is the original color it is a black bucket seat interior and uh, it was a Landau you know roof car so this particular car uh, started life with a 390 four barrel which it still is I believe it's the original engine for the car but it has been rebuilt as well as the three-speed automatic that's been rebuilt too so you've got a nice running nice operating car and these things drive so nice they're kind of heavy so they just really nice go down the road nicely very nice to drive fun to drive doors close nice and solid again you got nice gaps here you know nice and flush here and here little thunderbird on the mirror there pretty much all stock you've got radials here white wall radials with the original hubcaps or wheel covers Very nice in here, very clean. You know, again, 394 barrel, this was uh, 310 horse. You got uh, power brakes over there, uh, power steering. Looks like this was switched over to Protronics ignition, which is nice. You kind of want that. good running good starting good driving car and that's what uh, in my opinion that's kind of what I think is important I like stuff to drive nice you know and this one certainly does but the uh, hood you know closes nice again your gaps all around the hood are nice grill is nice chrome so what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the car and I'll start it. You get to hear it run and I'll just drive it around the parking lot a little bit just so you kind of get a sense of, you know, what it looks like, you know, rolling under its own power. But uh, everything works. The wipers work, you know. Uh, I think I mentioned the heater works. Everything. Power seat. It's a cool car. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, this is great. It's got a lot of nice amenities to it. And you may have noticed it's got a really nice exhaust burble. It's not too loud, you know, it sounds nice. It's got a little uh, power sound to it, so that's nice. Headliner's great. Dash is nice, want to mention that. All the lights work. Yeah, it's just a great car. These are, when you want a cruiser, they just don't get any better than this. And, you know, being in its original color scheme and very well treated. Uh, the odometer reads 63,041 miles, so uh, I'd be hard pressed to believe that was 163, but yeah, anything's possible. But I would more tend to, to lean toward the 63 just because of its condition. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this T Bird, don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503 851 6763, and thank you for watching today.